Men, thank you for joining me on this uh, podcast. And today uh, we are going to look at the rulings that were submitted by the three judges who were appointed by the Deputy Chief Justice Mwilu uh, to sit and listen to the petitions and uh, the kind of ruling that they gave because the petitioners were trying to tell them that they are not legitimate in their sitting to listen to those rulings. So, uh, first of all, we're going to be starting by the Justice Eric Ogola statement where he was uh, kind of uh, defending their legitimacy to sit and listen to those petitions. In his statement, he outlined the approach of the bench indicating that they have structured their ruling but will focus initially on what they considered key issues. This approach suggested a methodical and focused examination of the case at hand, emphasizing the court's intent to prioritize relevant points that could influence the outcome. Justice Anthony Murima's comments reinforced the legitimacy of the bench formation by noting that no objections were raised by the Chief Justice. He underscored the procedure correctness of the Deputy Chief Justice's actions. This is crucial because it affirms that the judicial process following the established protocol, thereby upholding the integrity of the court's decision making. Justice Freda Mugambi's remarks highlights the historic and urgent nature of the case by pointing out that this is the first impeachment under Article 105 of the Constitution. She underlines the precedent setting importance of this case. Her critique of the application's view that the case lacks urgency points to a broader understanding of the case's implications. It's not just about the immediate legal results, but about setting a standard for how similar situations should be handled in the future, emphasizing that such matters cannot be treated with delay or inf indifference. Together, these statements from the judges illustrate a judiciary keen on maintaining order, procedure, and the timely delivery of justice, particularly in the matter of in, uh, constitutional significance. Their collective commentary reassures the political and legal observers that the case is being handled with due diligence and an appreciation for its historical weight. This ruling not only validates the actions of Deputy Chief Justice Mwilu, but also sets the tone for how serious constitutional matters are to be addressed in Kenya's legal system.